Hi, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today, I'm gonna to be participating in a quarantine date night tablescape challenge. And this challenge is hosted by Marilyn from Fabulous Designs on a Budget and Shanji from Shanji Living Life to the Fullest. And I'm gonna list both of their channels down below in the description box, along with the playlist. So make sure you go and check them out along with the complete playlist so you can see what to do for our date night tablescape that you can do just there at home that will be beautiful and fun to put together for you and your hubby or you and your special person. Now, what I'm doing for mine is first off, I chose my colors and I decided to go with blacks and golds and then my burgundies and my whites. I really like this. The blacks and the golds just scream elegance and then the white and the burgundy screams romance to me. So put them all together and I just think that this is a really elegant and yet romantic tablescape. Now, one thing you'll probably notice about my tablescape is it doesn't have a whole lot of stuff on it. And that's because I'm thinking like, if we finally have enough time that we get to spend the whole evening together and nothing's gonna interrupt us, I don't wanna have to do a ton of dishes and clean up and everything after our meal. So I kind of kept it very minimalistic and yet I wanted to go really elegant. So let me show you exactly what I did. I started out here with this black silverware. I absolutely love this black silverware. This is the silverware that my daughters got me for Mother's Day. And I just think it's so pretty. Now in between the silverware, I have this beautiful placemat. This is a gold placemat that I picked up at Walmart. And I got these a couple months ago and I got the silver ones and the gold ones. I absolutely love these. I think they're like a $1.98 or something a piece. I think they're so pretty and I couldn't even believe what a great price they had on these. Now I'm using my black smoky glasses that I picked up at the Dollar Tree along with these golden wine glasses that I picked up while thrifting. Now, on top of my placemat, I'm going to use this gold charger. I don't know if I've used this gold charger on any of my place settings before or my tablescapes before. I purchased this at Walmart, actually in their wedding aisle. And I really like it. It kind of has that gold leaf look to it. It's a little bit smaller than most of my chargers, but it's just so pretty. And I'm gonna use this black plate right on top of it. And my black plates, I just picked up at Dollar Tree. I love these plates. I use these all the time. These are becoming my just regular, almost everyday plates. And I'm using this black salad plate right on top of it. And I just love the way this looks. I love the gold with the black. It just screams elegance to me. And then putting this white linen napkin with this burgundy flower right in the center. I think that just adds that final touch of romance to the tablescape. Now, what I ended up doing here is choosing this plaque or choosing this burgundy flower because I really liked how it has some of that smoky blackness to it. If you look real close here which really picks up the plates as well as that smoky black glass from the Dollar Tree. And it really just ties it all together instead of just using like a bright red flower, which I did think about that, but I really decided that I like these better. And you can see I took what was left over of the bouquet and I just poked that down inside of one of the water goblets, one of the um, smoky water goblets from the Dollar Tree. I put some gems in the water goblet and poked in the rest of my flower bunch right down into that water goblet. And you can see that there right in the center of our table. 
Then I had some little tiny flowers that were the exact same color as my other flowers. So I just went and I put those down on the table right around my water goblet there. I think that just added the final touch, but yet isn't too fussy. And it's kind of funny, if you look at my flowers, they almost make a heart shape in that water goblet. I wasn't purposely trying to go for that, but it just kind of turned out that way. And so I just think it's funny for a romantic date night tablescape. And I ended up with kind of a heart shaped flowers. Then you can see on each side of my bouquet of flowers there, I'm using these black candlesticks. I thrifted these a few months ago and they're actually on one of my thrift hauls. And then on top of those, I have my white um, pillar candles and those are the faux candles from Walmart. And these are the candles that had the remote control. And so I really like these. I use them all the time. I can use them all over the place. And I love the fact that they have the remote control with them so I don't actually have to be picking them up and turning them on and off. So yeah, that's really what I used for this tablescape. Here it is when I shut all the lights off. You can see how pretty and romantic it is. I really like this. I like that it has that really elegant and yet romantic look to it. And yet there's not a whole lot of stuff to clean up and everything after we would eat dinner and stuff. I hope you've liked this tablescape. Tell me, do you think I hit the mark on being romantic and elegant as well? Or do you think I missed something? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks so much for watching.